Hello, I'm Jack Ryan here reporting at the Washington National Cathedral about the Confederate flag removal controversy. This controversy has been ongoing for a year and a half now. Also, the Board of Directors decided to replace the Confederate flags with blank pieces of glass. Now, here's Chelsea Chang with more details on the story. Inside this church, there are two stained glass windows of Confederate Generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson holding the Confederate flag. The Daughters of the Confederacy gave the windows to the cathedral in 1953. The Confederate flags are the only things being removed, not the entire window. There have been misunderstandings from the public about what is happening with the removal of the Confederate flags, and the cathedral is currently trying to clear up the confusion. The timeline for the removal of the flags predicted by the cathedral will be within about a month. I recently interviewed the Chief of Communications Officer of the National Cathedral, Kevin Ekstrom, to hear the cathedral side of the story. The church has not always been as outspoken on issues of racial justice as it should have been. Uh, that's something that we're taking very seriously. It's actually one of the top priorities of this cathedral now is to try to help have that conversation about racism and, and racial reconciliation. We want to tell the story of the Civil War. We, we, we do it all over this place, but we don't want to do it using that symbol and doing it in such a one-sided kind of way. It was decided by the Board of Directors that it will be removed um, and paid for by private donors.